Welcome to my world. Come on in. My name is Colleen Liz Frost and today we have what is happening on the blog and the podcast and today I'm featuring a very special person. Her name is Kathleen Dorholt and it is a, just a treat. Um, I have a special thing that I am building. It is a digital home on the internet for my future grandkids, but it's also to create history and celebrate more. I'd like to welcome you. Um, let me grab my glasses. Today I'm in the kitchen. It's actually tonight. I'm just refreshed from my nap and I am, would like to get started. I have a kitchen here. I like to focus on recipes when I'm in the kitchen. For most of my life, um, my parents had the food business and they had food businesses for 53 years. So when I was growing up, it was all about where do I work in the restaurants. So many of my family, my twin and my sister, they love the kitchen. And of course, I like the kitchen, but I like to be out in the front of the house where the menus were and I got to serve the public. So for me, it was the front of the house and mother and I like to design menus. And when I finally left the nest and traveled with, um, I earned a division one basketball scholarship. So I was able to uh, fly to South Carolina where I selected to play division one. And when I traveled, I collected recipe uh, menus wherever I went. So it was kind of fun to be able to do that. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about why the kitchen. So for me, the kitchen is a fun place when we talk about um, menus and recipes because in the kitchen is where we talk about words, my mother and I. And when I was writing the book the, um, for myself, um, that's how I got started with uh, my family. When my mother, I was a senior, a uh, junior in high school, she lost her mother. And so here I was trying to leave the nest and go play basketball. And my, we had a tragedy in our family. It was a big loss for my mother. And when you're playing basketball, you do not bring your tragedies to your coach. So I was um, in my school, I met a teacher and her name was Kathleen Dorholt. Of course, we called her Mrs. Dorholt. And that's who I was able to fall in into her uh, classroom that morning and she gave me uh, the best advice um, and it went on for two years. She helped me heal with the power of words and ever since then I was able to melt into journaling and I became quite a passionate writer and so I was able to mix my love of uh, words with menus and plow myself into pain with the gift of writing and also with all my emotions. So today with April being the celebration of poetry, I want to highlight uh, someone who is in my Club 33, Kathleen Dorholt, and I hope that you follow the link that I'll put in my, uh, in my site here and follow her poetry because she is somebody that has just followed me my whole life. And shall we start with how that happened? Um, when I go back to my storage bins, because I am a hoarder of words, um, I have found, um, well, this here stack here, this is my actual go-to stack from her. These are some of my favorite journals. I did separate them because I'm working in this stack last night at my, uh, Monday night at my play class. But we journaled with her that junior year, and um, then I took her journals to my college course with my Harry Miller. And so when you find somebody that you can um, help, I hope you pick a teacher, because teachers are a great resource. And for her, she introduced me, my mother introduced me to Emily Dickinson. And how that happened was quite interesting because we bought a house, my first real home was a teacher's home and in the attic was a whole inventory of books and happened to be a lot of poetry books. So my mother always started with Emily Dickinson 
And, um, and then by the time I got to Mrs. Dorholt's class and she opened me up to Dante and Kekogard and all those, um, I was quite well versed. So we just bonded over these poets. And so when it came to journaling, she told me just to write my emotions down. And then she handed me a book. Um, I'm sure we didn't have computers back then, but this was probably the next best kept secret with Mrs. Dorholt. It was one of these uh, notebooks that had a separation of topics. So that started my seven days. Um, this was only a five, uh, Monday through Friday, uh, five ring. And then we traveled into the three ring binders where I was able to transfer into the leaf, uh, loose leaf paper. And I don't know Mrs. Dorholt, but this was a life-changing experience for me to go to loose leaf. From the loose leaf, I was able to capture the gift of the clipboard, which that would just change my life. My clipboard system, I will just share with you. For example, when you get addicted to clipboards, which I think everybody should have a manual system, and I know all of you young people just love these computers, and I love them too. And I'm going to get so good at them. Especially the Excel spreadsheet. My mother loved it. Um, anyway, I do categorize my, my clipboards, Kathy, uh, or Mrs. Dorholt. Um, I do categorize them. And I have my loose leaf. And then I go, and I did get a mothership printer. So then I do categorize them now with my colors. So I tell you, when you get into uh, find a teacher that helps you sort out your words, I started with the menus. And that's how Mother and I did it. We picked all the words that we wanted to be in our book. And then I sat with Mother and I asked her, you know, what does this word mean, Mother, to you? And then she gave me her essay. I put it into the Excel spreadsheet, her essay. And then from there, I drafted a book. So I will just be forever grateful to uh, Kathleen Dorholt um, and Mother's love of menus. And I hope to share them in my digital home. But this uh, Kathleen, I don't know if you love Kathleen, these little sticky things, these uh, little tabs. So it can just be an extreme thing. In the Kitchen is a great place to become a writer. I hope that you all, where are your favorite places? Now what's happening this week in the kitchen is a place for us to start drafting letters. So I'm hopeful that with our podcast that we can take a day to be able to draft a letter, find words, and maybe work together, especially in April. So I'm gonna dedicate April to Mrs. Dorholt and I'm hoping that you go online and search April Poetry and you will see your world open up with ideas for your kids and for the people that you love. And that's what's happening in April. So check out my menu. You'll see I'm gonna be featuring seasonal menus and I'm gonna have some fun. I might have some breakfast ideas for some words. I might even have uh, the Queen's Edition. So we will see. This is probably my favorite little addition to my clipboard system. This is my feature one for the day. I leave it right here in the kitchen when I have my specialty coffee. So let's have some fun for what's happening. And tomorrow I have a very special guest. I'm going to be interviewing my first uh, Club 33 member. I can't wait to figure out how to do that on Zoom. And Mrs. Dorholt, when you listen to this, I am very hopeful that you will be my guest for my estate. So thanks for coming tonight. I am so excited to um, have you read the book, to see how this whole thing came together for my history. And very soon, I don't know when I'll launch it, but I'm trying to get all these people positioned in the map 
And when my uh, grandkids look at my map someday, they'll be able to hop on their favorite form of transportation. I can't wait to show you the garage. Um, and they'll be able to travel all over the world to see all these beautiful people, places and voices who have inspired me. And I hope that you will want to be on my map. And, um, and maybe I haven't met you yet. So if that's the case, and you would like to uh, be a part of my history, send me an email. It's, I'll have to post that somewhere. And very soon, I'm going to introduce you to my website. So there's so much to look forward to. And, um, and then my dad wants to be a part of this. He just went back to bed. But his puzzle's cooking, and, um, and we have lots of things to look forward to. This has been quite a journey, and I'm just so grateful for the coaches I've had, and I'm really grateful for, the, for those teachers I've had. And, um, and there's lots of things that happen in a young person's life, and then a parent's life, and I know that together as a team, we'll be able to get through it. So if you see a person, especially those athletes or those people that have those big time goals, if they have a misstep or those broken people that have a misstep, I hope you pull them aside and I hope you hand them a clipboard or introduce them to a poet and maybe they'll become a writer. So let me know who you've inspired and maybe you can become a rock to some of those that are broken or some of those that need some help or a leg up. And maybe I can help do that for somebody else, myself. So remember me, and thanks for being with Colleen number 33. All aboard.